All right, good afternoon. Today we're going to mess around with a tool called Recon NG. Uh, Recon NG is a full featured reconnaissance framework designed with the goal of providing a powerful environment to conduct open source web based reconnaissance quickly and thoroughly. That is off of their website, which I will post in the description below uh, in case you're interested in learning more about it. It's made by Black Hills Information Security. Uh, this tool does passive recon, right? So we're, we're basically hitting the network and we're identifying different domains, different web addresses, different items that would be useful in a passive reconnaissance uh, point of view. Um, now, how can I be utilize this for cybersecurity from a security perspective, not from an offensive security perspective? Knowing what your attacker knows and knowing what your attacker can see is the first part of doing any real security on your network, right? And so, uh, being able to utilize a tool like this and being able to identify what your attacker is able to see makes you more knowledgeable of what uh, is hidden, which is a good point, but also knowing what the attacker can actually utilize in order to gain information about your organization or company. Um, let's, let's jump right into it. This is a fairly easy tool. You don't have to have root access to your Kali box. I'm going to open up a terminal. We're going to blow this up so you can see it. Uh, now, when we go through this tool, I want to point out that I'm a big proponent of let me show you the basics of it and then go mess around with it. The best way to learn any hands-on tool, any hands-on environment is to just go mess around with it. Go screw around with it, uh, see what you can do with it, see what works, see what doesn't work. I'm going to give you the basics of it uh, and then you can go from there. All right, so how do we get into the tool? Well, it's real simple. We're just going to type in recon ng just like that uh, and then it's going to give us our little our little uh, landing page, right? So first thing I wanna do is type in help. Help is gonna give me a list of different topics and commands that we could utilize as we're going through this. Uh, and it kinda sets us up for success in some portions. Now, as with most Linux tools, it doesn't tell you a lot, right? There's a lot to be desired on here. You're like, oh great, I got modules and I got marketplaces and I have the back command and I have the dashboard but it really doesn't tell you how to use the tool. And that's that's a problem. So let's kind of demystify this a little bit. First command we're gonna use is marketplace. And then we're just gonna type in search right after it. This is gonna give us a list of the different marketplaces that we can utilize. You'll notice that not installed. You can also see the last day that it was utilized or updated or, or provided on there. So the very first thing we need to do, of course, is to install the marketplace that we actually wanna do. So we're gonna do a marketplace we're gonna do install, and then we're gonna do hacker target, just like so. So marketplace install hacker target, hit enter. That's gonna load that sucker right up for us. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually pay attention to our options, right? So, uh, well, actually we need to load our hacker target. So let's do modules, and then load, and then hacker target, because we, we found a module from the marketplace that we installed. Now we need to load it up and now it's loaded up. Now, now we can do options. Let's do a show options just like that. Uh, and it kind of provides us a limited visibility of different items that we can utilize within this module that we loaded. However, you'll notice that if I did a show and then I don't know, companies, right? It doesn't really provide me. It's saying, hey, no data return because we need to identify a source. So we're gonna do options and then set, and then source, all in caps, because I like caps, uh, and I'm gonna use Tesla. Tesla has an open bug bounty program that allows us to kind of mess around with their website. Now, it is passive, right? So I really don't need their permission. I really don't, I'm not interacting with their, with their, uh, with their domains, right? So um, I'm really not doing anything unethical or illegal. I'm just basically pulling open source information from Tesla as my source to, to extrapolate what's known information out there, right? This is not an active recon, it is very much a passive, right? All right, so we've loaded that up. Now, if I type in the info, it'll tell me, hey, this is what our source is, right? Our source is tesla.com, it's required, yes, we have to have that. Uh, and if we type in input, we can see a description. So let's go ahead and type in input like that. And you can see the module inputs, it's only got tesla.com. Now. Here's the best part, right? To run this, we just type run. Just set, just run. And it's gonna provide through and it says, hey, I found 47 total 
uh, hosts in there, 47 total. So not, not too bad, right? Everything associated with Tesla has been pulled up uh, within this, within this uh, uh, framework, right? Uh, so we can kind of go through this and it provides a line by line. It's not the easiest to read, but what I can do is I can do show hosts just like that. Remember that when we did the original? Yeah, yeah. So now we can do show hosts and it provides me an, an easy to uh, easy to read kind of format where I can go through this, okay? Uh, that is pretty much it. You can mess around with this thing and, and different aspects of it. You can change the target. You can, you can mess around with the different hosts or excuse me, the different modules. Um, you can go through and, and really kind of look at a lot of different aspects of this tool. Um, it's, it's definitely on my, on my scale on a one to 10, I give it a solid 6.5, uh, maybe a, even a seven, right? I, I feel like it provides some great information. It's not user friendly at all, right? You're going to go through and if you start messing around with this, you're going to be like, what in the world? How come it's not working? Uh, and so there is a learning curve with this, that's for sure. Uh, but the best way to get around that learning curve is to actually read their website, read the tools, uh, and kind of go through this, which I'll provide the direction as well, right? Uh, but that's Recon NG. I hope you found this video useful for open source intelligence gathering on web-based domains. Uh, and that's it for me today. We will see you guys next time. Have a good one.